Before we go any further, I think there's a bug with the Python extension in VS Code because it's saying that this is a problem. It's giving this error. I wanna just get rid of that for the remainder of the series, which means I'm just getting rid of the Python extension from being enabled. So if you go into your extensions, search for Python and disable that one, you can follow along with me exactly. Those squiggly lines doesn't actually do anything in terms of running Django and learning Django. So you could totally keep it on. I just find it a little bit annoying and hopefully they'll fix it in the near future or there's a simple and easy way to adjust what I just did. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this view into what's called a URL, right? So when you go to any given page, let's say in this case, it's the home page, but if I go to slash ABC, I'm requesting a brand new URL. I'm actually trying to go to a different address and I need Django to know about handling that different address. So if I actually run the server again and try to render out that address, I see I get this page not found error. Now this is actually an expected error. So it shows 404. Now this is also true for many other web pages. So like GitHub, if you just type out some gibberish here, you're probably gonna get that 404 page. I'm sure you're already well aware of this. Um, so it's not something new to you hopefully, but Django has this built in. So it already has a built-in way to handle pages not found. Now notice that it says Django tried these URL patterns, right? It only tried the admin one, which is probably not that surprising considering inside of urls.py, we only have a path for admin, as in Django only knows of the path admin. You can also see in the terminal right here, it's saying that specific path is also not found. So there's a lot of ways to diagnose the problem, but how do we actually solve that problem? How do I actually handle any given route? How do I handle any given URL? Well, it's fairly simple. First off, we declare a path and then we will go down the list of requirements for this path. And so the path that we wanna declare is perhaps the index page. Now you're probably gonna be tempted to just put a slash here and you should probably follow along with what Django has, which is the single quotes. And so let's go ahead and put a slash there as the index page, right? So index slash home uh, slash root, you know, those are different names for what you would call this. And so now that we have the path, we now need to declare how it's gonna be handled, like what's gonna be handling it. Do you remember what's gonna be handling it? What's gonna handle the request for this particular URL? Well, it's the view that we created. So this home view right here. And in fact, I'm gonna call it home underscore view and leave it like that. So home view is the valid name that I'll be using here. And so we need to use this home view inside of urls.py. Now there's already actually a couple of examples up here on how to import that. As we see, to import it, you can import it in several different ways. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the way that they did, and that is just by saying from dot views, or rather from dot views, we're gonna go ahead and import our home view. They did it slightly different, which we'll revisit when we have an actual app, which we haven't touched yet. Uh, but now that we've got this home view function, I can just put that in here. We'll discuss the admin later, so don't worry about that yet. Uh, but now that I've got this, let's go ahead and open up the terminal. I had that running the whole time. And what you see is you get a little warning here saying that your URL pattern slash has a route beginning with a slash. You don't need it, it's unnecessary. So we actually can just leave that as an empty string. And so now when we go to ABC, it shows us that, hey, it's looking now in two URLs. And if we go to the actual homepage, da 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 we've got our first hello world. So what you just did was handled a URL route. You handled your very first URL route and view and returned back to your own HTML. And if we look at that source again and I refresh it, notice that it's not actually valid HTML. Now again, if you aren't familiar with HTML, this might be really strange to you, but the idea here is there's more that needs to be involved with HTML, which we'll cover later. But for now, we've got an actual view, an actual web page, in a URL, and it's all through a Python function. So thinking of this Python function, you know what else we can do is we can print out like a hundred times a thousand, right? And save that. 
and open up the terminal again. So I'm gonna scroll down. So notice that I'm at the very bottom and I'm gonna refresh this homepage and whoa, it did some math and it actually printed it out right in the terminal, right on the actual command line itself. And so we can actually see things happening in here. And of course I could do it several more times. And the really, the reason I'm showing you this is to illustrate that this is just a Python function, right? So we can do all sorts of really cool things in here with Python that have nothing to do with Django, but just are solely Python related. We'll come back to that later. But for now, we have some stuff pretty well handled. Let's keep going.